So you're listening to your music on your phone or your tablet or your iPod and you press the volume up button a couple of times and all of a sudden it stops getting louder and you get a message a bit like this. Not great. This volume warning is basically saying if you keep going, if you keep turning it up, you're going to get make it dangerously loud. So how seriously should we take these warnings and how loud is too loud and can we just ignore it? The World Health Organization says the biggest cause of preventable hearing loss is loud music. You probably all come across something similar to this warning at some point on our music players. Now I would bet that most of you have tapped OK or just dismiss the notification completely and continue to turn it up a couple of levels, I know I do. But how dangerous is this? Potentially damaging your hearing from listening to loud music for too long isn't so different from ignoring advice about staring at the sun for too long, for example. I'm pretty sure most of us don't do that, although I'm not really sure there's any reason why we would. But the problem is, since we all have different phones, different headphones and headsets and of course slightly different ear structures, it's very difficult to say specifically for each person what volume represents too loud. Now, just to bore you a little bit more, the US National Institutes of Health says that prolonged exposure to sounds over about 85 decibels or dBs can cause hearing loss. They say that at levels over 100 dB are loud enough to begin causing permanent damage after just 15 minutes per day. Headphones can typically produce between 100 and 110 decibels at full volume according to their specs. The Apple EarPods can reach 109 dB. Beats by Dr. Dre over here headphones can reach 115 dB and Sennheiser Momentum in-ear headphones top out at around 100 dB. So although decibels are non-linear, if you consider a chainsaw is around 110 dB, thunder is about 120, and a gunshot is in the area of 150, our headphones really do get quite loud. The other issue we have is we use headphones far more than we used to. People go to rock concerts and football games, which can reach up to 140 dB and don't usually have a problem, but that's because it's usually just a couple of hours every now and then. People who attend them regularly, like the musicians themselves, for example, are famous for having hearing damage and conditions like tinnitus, which is that constant ringing you, can come, you sometimes can get in your ear. So now they often use earplugs. Since we use headphones so much more than we used to, from commuting, exercising and working, we're exposed to damaging sound levels for a lot longer. There's another problem too. Listening to music above 85 dB can cause your ears to tune out to low and high frequencies, which can actually decrease the sound quality of your music as it reduces the sensitivity and inner fidelity of your ears. So even if you don't get full on hearing loss or tinnitus, you'll still lose the ability to enjoy the full dynamic range of the music you'd listen to. So maxed out, our headphones at about 100 to 110 dB are obviously too loud. Research has shown that 60 to 70 dB is the optimal volume, allowing you to enjoy your music reasonably while avoiding potential damage to your ears. Most smartphones do warn you when you reach about 75% of the maximum volume. This software alert isn't mandatory and different companies will approach it in different ways from the volume that they deem is too loud to whether they even include a warning at all. Back in 2013, an EU-wide safety limit on volume levels came into force for all new personal music players, which would cap the volume, the maximum volume at 85 decibels. You could increase it to 100 if you jailbroke or rooted the phone, uh, but it still did put an artificial limit on the maximum volume. But this is separate to the volume warning we're talking about that you can still get on phones. This just means that the, that the uh, music players in the European Union have an artificial cap of 85 dB. So if your phone warns you when you're turning the volume up too loud at about 75% of that 85 dB cap, that translates to roughly 64 dB that you're being warned at and that they think it's becoming too loud. Of course, this will be slightly different for each device and doesn't take into account what kind of headphones you use, but it's right in line with the 60 to 70 dB optimal volume that we talked about. And so I wouldn't recommend exceeding the warning limit by that much. To compensate for external noise and get the most out of your music, you're likely to have a higher volume if you're using open-ear headphones compared to in-ear or even noise-cancelling headphones. One option then is to invest in a pair of noise-cancelling headphones to reduce background noise, allowing you to listen to your music without having to turn the volume right up. So how about simply turning off the warning? Well, without rooting your phone, well, it's actually very difficult to disable the warning, which will pop up each time you restart the phone and then you reach that volume limit. Some people say that certain updates to their phone, certain software updates has got rid of the 
uh, warning, but it seems to be fairly sporadic and there's not any general consensus on that. So it seems pretty difficult to actually overcome it. You can't just simply uh, disable something in the settings. You can't get rid of it that easily, unfortunately. But it's worth remembering that there is no cure for damaged hearing. But as the National Institutes of Health rightly says, noise-induced hearing loss is 100% preventable. And it's true. It's possible to remove the volume warnings if you root your phone, but they are there for a good reason. Our phones and headphones have the potential to reach volumes that can permanently damage our hearing. So of course most of us just use our common sense if we go a couple of notches over the warnings. It's not really going to be the end of the world. And for the most part, if it sounds too loud, it probably is too loud. But that's not exactly a scientific way of preventing hearing loss. So all I would say is perhaps next time you're listening to music, just tap the volume down maybe one level from where you'd normally have it. And you know, you'll get used to it soon enough and you could be preventing long-term hearing damage. So I hope you found this video interesting. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you do like it. And uh, hopefully we'll see you soon in my next video. Thanks very much for watching guys. Cheers.